Hello and welcome to our Masters in International and European Relations webinar. I'm Aphrodita Anrud and I am the International Marketing Coordinator here at Linköping University. And I'm also here with Pat Jansson, who is the Program Director. We will be telling you uh, more about the program as we go along and we will also give you opportunity to ask questions at the end of our talk. Uh, this webinar is being recorded and will be available on our website afterwards. So, Per, tell me uh, about your program. Right. <clears throat> well, uh, I'd just like to offer a few words on uh, the mission of the program, its uh, the main concepts, and also a few words about uh, the structure of the program. Uh, I should also like to point out that uh, we have been running the Master in International and European Relations for 18 years. So we have a very long experience of receiving and taking care of international students. Um, uh, as far as the mission goes, <coughs> uh, the important thing to point out is that we have two foci within the program which uh, works together. Uh, on the one hand, we have uh, the, everything which concerns the academic training, research-oriented training in the program, but also things which apply to professional roles. And from our point of view, the academic training and the professional preparations goes together and supports each other. Uh, this also indicates that uh, we find our alumni in a wide range of professions all over the world. Uh, the program is, uh, formally speaking, a program in political science, <coughs> which suggests work roles in government and uh, official agencies and that kind of things. But we have alumni from this program in the private sector, private companies, uh, and non-governmental organizations, the whole range. Uh, the, the concepts uh, which are, um, gives the program its identity, um, there are a few of these. First of all, you need to take note of that this is a program of international and European relations. Uh, this makes the program to some extent unique. Uh, there are plenty of international relations programs out there. There are plenty of programs in European studies, but not so many which actually combine the two. Um, there is, uh, as I suggested before, um, the combination of theoretical, methodological and practical training, both academic and professional training within the program. Um, we have a very flexible view on teaching and teaching methods, which means that uh, you will find uh, different kinds of perspectives and methods on different courses within the program. Uh, we have traditional lectures and seminars, but we also have role plays, project works, and uh, problem-based learning modules. Uh, finally, uh, the program also offers an opportunity for you to design your program. Uh, the structure of the program indicates that the, on the third semester of the program you can either take a set of courses here at Linköping at the university or you can choose to make a guided internship at some kind of relevant organization. Uh, and finally you also have the opportunity to, uh, uh, to engage in exchange studies. Uh, the program has uh, partners in Europe uh, and you can also participate in a larger cooperation network within the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. We expect students to be independent, uh, to be responsible, in re responsible in the sense that uh, you need to be able to organize your studies, you need to be able to organize your life surrounding your studies. Um, we expect good English proficiency, both in writing and speaking. Uh, this is a necessity in order for you to keep up uh, with the studies, with the courses. Uh, we like to have students with a critical mindset. Uh, critical, but also an open mindset, which means that uh, there has to be a willingness to see and to understand different perspectives on international relations and European studies uh, and also a willingness to think for yourself. We expect you to have opinions, well-founded opinions, uh, and you, we expect you to, to, to participate and take part 
in our program uh, on, 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 um, uh, in, in, uh, in an independent and critical way. Uh, finally, uh, a few words about uh, the course organization. Um, uh, four semesters, this is a full, a full master's program. First semester is, um, uh, starts out with an introduction course, uh, which gives you an introduction to, uh, to um, both to international and European relations, but also to academic life uh, and academic expectations in uh, Swedish higher education. The rest of the first semester is uh, basically concerned with the field of international relations, theory, uh, international economy, uh, international law, for example. The second semester is basically oriented towards European relations, uh, which includes the European institutions and uh, we also make a study trip to Brussels during that, uh, during that course, which is uh, usually appreciated by everybody who partakes. Uh, the third semester, as I was talking about a few minutes ago, uh, uh, offers the options of either taking a set of courses here in Linköping which are generally oriented towards questions of international or global governance, international organizations, diplomacy, uh, the international civil society, um, that kind of things. Or, as I mentioned, uh, the option of having an internship or taking equivalent or similar courses at a university which, are, which is cooperating with the program or the faculty. And finally, the fourth semester is, of course, entirely devoted to writing the exam thesis, uh, which you do with, with uh, under supervision, uh, you can uh, do it not necessarily here in Linköping, you can do much of your work on your thesis somewhere else, but you have to be here, of course, for the final examination. So that's the basic structure of things. Nice. Um, you said, you, you mentioned earlier that there are um, a lot of um, former students who work in NGOs, they work mm. in the industry. What links do you also have to research, for example, within mm. the program? Mm. Um, do you have any... Mm. Mm. Well, the, the, uh, uh, as I said, the, 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 there is this uh, dual focus on both on professional training and on academic training. Uh, I don't really see this as uh, competing objectives, really. I mean, they, they, as I said, mutually supporting. Mm. Uh, but obviously, for those students who really want to go for an academic career, we provide the necessary academic training for mm. this. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the opportunities for continuing with PhD studies uh, varies, of course. Uh, there are different situations in Sweden, the rest of Europe, the rest of the world. Uh, but uh, the, the basic necessary training for that kind of uh, continued studies uh, is one of our missions. Nice. Uh, and what does a uh, typical week look like? Uh, the workload, you know, a mm. little, explain a bit about that. Mm. We, which also is a way of, of uh, re-emphasizing uh, the aspect of independence I was mm. talking about. Uh, because it's, it's important to realize that, uh, that uh, in, in Swedish higher education, you don't usually spend your whole day in class taking notes of everything that a professor is saying. Uh, in a typical week, we have like, uh, let's say, two lectures and a seminar. Uh, so uh, you know that uh, out of five working days, uh, on average, three of those will involve activities on campus right. which, are, which are scheduled. Mm -hmm. But the time in between is certainly not time off. This is not time where you can uh, uh, do something else, uh, work or anything like this. Uh, it's a full study program and it is a prerequisite that you actually plan your time accordingly. Uh, doing individual studies, uh, we always encourage students to organize study groups. You need to spend time at the library uh, and so on and so forth. So you would say, you know, working part-time, for example, is, will be pretty hard considering uh, that's, the... Uh, uh, that's not uh, a very good idea. Yeah. That's uh, the way I would like to put it. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, where, is there any more info about the program that is, uh, that we can um, explain mm -hmm. to our, our viewers if there's mm -hmm. other information well, that they want to get? Well, uh. you, you just need to access the, the LIU web yeah. 
uh, look for education, master's level, and international European relations, and you find all the relevant information yeah. there, really. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Mm. Is there anything else that you would like to add um, regarding the, the program and the study aspect of? Um, well, the, the, the one thing I think I, I would like to emphasize is the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the experience of it all. Uh, that when you, when you uh, commit yourself to this program, you will also find yourself in a working environment where you meet people from literally all over the world. Uh, uh, this means that uh, the, the, uh, there is a day-to-day, a, day a daily practice of intercultural <laughs> relations, if you like. Uh, okay, you need to do a lot of study work independently, but you also do this on a group basis, and there will also be assignments and, and, uh, and, and practical things during the courses which you need to accomplish. You need to do this together with other people, so you need to cooperate. Uh, and uh, cooperating in this program means that you need to, to, to um, uh, adjust to different cultures, to different expectations, to different prior experiences. Yeah. Uh, but this all sums up, I think, to, 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 uh, to uh, uh, a great added value, which is not there in the course plans. It's not there in the course aims. Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's what happens. When, when, you do, when you do the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Um, I actually, we have one question uh, that we've gotten from a viewer. Um, it's about applications. Do applicants have to submit a letter of motivation? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. And what do you expect students to cover in these letters? Mm -hmm. the, the basic we are looking for, for uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, why do you take an interest? In this program, what what what, what, what is uh, the the uh, what, what what is your understanding of what this program has got to offer? Uh, it's also very good if you can make some kind of connection to your prior studies. Uh, um, we recruit on a fairly wide basis, which means that we are not just looking for political science bachelors. Uh, uh, we are looking for students with a background in all of the social sciences and and more than that. Uh, but that also implies that you need to think about how does your prior education fit with this program? How does this fit into to, to a plan for your, your personal education? And, and uh, I, your thoughts on that kind of issues are, are uh, immensely important in the process for us to get. That's good. Um, another question is how um, how high of a GPA in the bachelor's degree do you mm -hmm. think is needed to succeed? Mm -hmm. um, uh, to succeed. <laughs> or to be, to be admitted, actually. To be, to, is, yeah, to, to be admitted. To be admitted. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually have the, the numerical scores for this. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but uh, the, 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 there is certainly a selection made, and um, uh, you need... You, 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 you need to have a fairly high record from your prior studies in mm -hmm. order to be, uh, to be accepted in the first place. Mm. Good. Uh, another question is, um, why should I choose this master's program over other similar uh, masters of science programs? What's, mm -hmm. what's, the, you know, what, what, what's special about us? Mm -hmm. Well, it goes back to what I said in yeah. the introduction, that uh, the, the, um, uh, there are several reasons why you should take this program. Um, but uh, uh, the first, I think, would be the combination of international and European relations. Uh, you don't find that combination in very many programs uh, around the world. Mm. Uh, and uh, it has turned out to be, uh, to be a, I mean, again, a question of duality supporting elements, uh, just like the academic, the professional, the international and the European. I mean, these are fields of research, fields of study, which enriches mm -hmm. each other, yeah. uh, if I can put it that way. Uh, so so, so that, 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 that I think that's the basic first reason why you should pick this program rather than something else. Um, and going back to a bit of culture, and have you? What have <coughs> the previous students said about living in Sweden? Do you mm. have you know spoken to mm. other students? What are their perceptions of, of actually living here? Mm. Uh, 
uh, I think there are, there, are, there are very many different kinds of perceptions uh, and it certainly depends on, on uh, your point of origin. I mean, if, you, if, you are, um, if your home country is in Western Europe, uh, things will obviously be very much or fairly much the same. Uh, if, your, uh, if your home country is in, in Asia, Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, well, anywhere really in, in, the, uh, in the world, uh, there are certainly things you need to adjust to. And, and what I've been talking about here, I've been emphasizing is the academic side of this, that, uh, uh, okay, so Swedish higher education has a culture, uh, which, which uh, is uh, fairly similar to some other countries but which differs a lot from, from, from uh, what, what, what some people are, are, are used to. Uh, apart from that, uh, there is the climate, of course. Right. Um, it's cold. Yes. Part you'll of survive, the, though. Don't worry. You, you will survive. <laughs> there, 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 is, uh, there is clothing which is appropriate for, for the climate. Um, uh, th 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 that is one of the things, we, anyway, which, which I think um, um, many many people are, are uh, needs to get to get accustomed to. Yeah. On the other hand, it's just for a part of the year. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Mm. Um, how many of your international students usually decide to stay in Sweden? Do you have a number of that? I don't really have a number of that. I don't have the statistics, but, uh, but uh, uh, I would say quite a few, mm -hmm. uh, which is not a majority, but, but, uh, but uh, a number of our students do manage to, to, uh, to stay on in Sweden continuing their academic career, um, but also getting a job in, in, um, in um, actually in Swedish government and uh, right. um, all kinds of organizations. Uh, and some students, of course, actually have this as um, an objective from the very start, yeah. to take this program in order to adjust to life in, in, in Sweden. Good, it's good. Mm. Um, another question that we have is, um, as an international student who, who might have um, a high living cost, what do you need to think of as a student, you know, to, to be able to actually, um, to be able to live here, I guess, if mm. I understand the question correctly? Mm. Um, mm. Um, w well, I mean, all, all, all I'm not sure. I, I understand, all, I, I'm it's not it's sure. I understand the question. question I yeah. guess. Um, but, but I mean, I mean, obviously, you 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 need to realize and you need to adjust to the fact that uh, that uh, living costs are fairly high in Sweden. Um, um, on the other hand, you also need to to take into consideration that uh, 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 living and studying in Sweden, you will also have access to pretty much of the welfare services which are offered in, in, in Swedish society, uh, um, which makes uh, things like uh, healthcare fairly affordable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, you, 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 you have, as a matter of course, access to social services which are, uh, uh, which, um, uh, are, are uh, uh, as I said, fair, fairly affordable. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, uh, um, the, the um, uh, things like uh, food uh, living uh, may not necessarily be extremely costly, but, but uh, th th there's a range here. And, uh, and uh, w what you need to do is to plan for your living in Linköping or in Sweden in advance, mm -hmm. uh, reviewing the, uh, the um, uh, whatever living, um, where to stay, uh, uh, what are what 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 is on offer in terms of of uh, of, uh, of student living, and and uh, uh, plan for that. Be aware of the options and. Uh, yeah. And mm. you can get by fairly, um, <coughs> fairly cheap if you you know for example you learn to cook at home, uh, you know and and small things like that. Mm -hmm. um, there is another uh, question that we have. I've studied philosophy, religion, and human values from the University of Cape Coast, uh, Ghana. Am I eligible for this program with a second class lower? That's the question. So I'm thinking it's uh, if he's eligible uh, after studying philosophy, mm. religion, and human values. 
Well, uh, the, uh, would he so, be a good so, fit? Uh, yeah, I mean th th that's a different kind of question yeah. because uh, we, we we cannot say anything about uh, who can be admitted or not uh, on an individual basis. But uh, but uh, and I don't know. Uh, I mean, one pre one prerequisite for admission is also that your home university is listed among those universities, which is which are el eligible for. Uh, um, for um, uh, um, uh, continued studies in Sweden, uh, but uh, barring that, I mean, uh, the, 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 this particular combination of topics uh, is uh, quite possible mm -hmm. for a student of international and European relations. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but in this regard, th th then we get back to the question of the um, letter of intent that uh, it's important that, that you have an idea about how does this kind of academic background fit into your plans or your understanding of international and European relations. Okay. Mm. Um, are there scholarships that you can uh, apply for for the program? Um, the, the, uh, the program itself doesn't offer any, uh, any scholarships. Uh, uh, Linship University uh, do, uh, but this needs to be um, you need to check on this uh, because the, 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 the number of, uh, of scholarships for international master's students tends to differ from one year to another. And anyway, there are, the, the access to these scholarships is extremely limited. It's just a few students. Who go. Uh, the program is also um, associated to, uh, to uh, the program of scholarships uh, which are organized by the Swedish Institute. Uh, and, uh, but the same thing goes for this. There are different programs of scholarship at the Swedish Institute and uh, your eligibility for those particular scholarships depends on where you come from. Um, also, uh, quickly to, to uh, add to that regarding scholarships, you also need to apply on time mm. and you need to rank the program as the number one uh, program that you want to go to exactly. uh, at universityadmissions.com. Mm. Um, and you only have a window of a few days after the um, results come in, come in at, um, on April 3rd. So after that you have a few days to apply for scholarships. Um, so what language requirements are there for the program in terms of, uh, there's a score for the, mm. uh, I think it's, um, we have that information on, on the website more accurately. Yeah. That, that's. Uh, there, there, there is definitely a score which you need to. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's all under the admissions yeah. and how to mm. apply and what mm. are th what requirements um, mm. you need in order to apply. It's mm. everything is on our website regarding that. Um, great. So, um, do you have anything else that you would like to add? No, I don't think so. No. Unless there are any more questions coming up. Um, no, I think those are all the questions that we had today. This uh, webinar is going to be on our web after uh, this, uh, sub this program is done. Uh, this is a part of a series of webinars uh, about our master's programs. And more information about um, all of the other webinars is found on liu.sc slash masters. Um, and there will also be a how to apply webinar on January 9th. We will get more information on how to apply, what documents you need to submit, and other things that you might have uh, questions about. Um, and like I said, the recording of this webinar will also be available on our website. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining us. And thank you to our viewers for joining us. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. We've made up our minds. We're going to do new, do something else, do more, do the impossible, do better, do good, do big, do small, do it wrong, do it again, do it ourselves, do it together, do what no one else has done, do what will become big. Do the same, do different. Do everything, do something, do new.